With your vote, I will defend religious liberty in all of its forms. I will protect Christians in our schools, in our military, in our government, in our workplaces, in our hospitals, and in our public square. And I will also protect other religions. We want that, right? Other religions. And we will bring our country back together, one nation under God. As soon as I take the oath of office, I will stop the Biden-Harris administration's weaponization of law enforcement against Americans of faith and against, frankly, their political opponent. No longer will their DOJ and FBI be allowed to target, persecute, or round up Christians or pro-life activists and throw them in jail for living out their religious beliefs. And that's what they've been doing. They've been doing that at levels that no, that this country has never seen before. Americans of faith are not a threat to our country. Americans of faith are the soul of our country. I will create a new federal task force on fighting anti-Christian bias. And its mission will be to investigate all forms of illegal discrimination, harassment, and persecution against Christians in America. And by the way, Christians have to vote. You know, I don't want to scold you, but you know that Christians do not vote proportionately. They don't vote like they should. They're not big voters. You know who else aren't voters? The NRA endorsed me very powerfully. Strongest endorsement they can give, National Rifle Association. People that own guns and rifles are not big voters. They have to vote. If you don't vote, we're not going to win the election. If you do vote, we're going to win in a landslide. Too big to rig. We're going to win in a landslide. But Christians, you know, you'll go to church every Sunday, and Pastor Paula White and all of the people, I understand, they're doing lockboxes in churches where people don't even have to go to vote. They can now vote in church. And if you do that, we're going to win by numbers that nobody's ever seen before. You know, you have tremendous power, but you just don't know that. But you have to use that power. Christians are a group that's known not to vote very much. You have to go out, at least this election. Just give us in. Get us into that beautiful White House. We have to win this election, most important election ever. We want a landslide that's too big to rig. If you want to save America, get your friends, get your family, get everyone you know, and vote. Vote early, vote absentee, vote on election day. I don't care how, but you have to get out and vote. And again, Christians, get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years, you know what? It'll be fixed, it'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good you're not going to have to vote.